This is BYU Cougars Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Time for a PZ Printing pitching change. Brought to you by PZ Printing. Nothing inspires like print. The new Cougar hurler is Kendon Dally. Dally, the force pitcher used tonight. A 5.56 ERA on the year. Has two starts on the year in his 14 appearances. He has a 2-2 two and two record on 22 and two-thirds on the season coming in two tonight. Has given up 28 hits in those 22 and two-thirds. 17 runs, 14 earned. Has struck out 19, walking 14. Batters hitting 308 against him. Has given up seven extra base hits of his 28 hits allowed. Three doubles, a triple, three home runs. First batter Cannon Daly will face is Connor Tallickson. The Utah Tech catcher, right-handed hitter, facing the right-hander Daly. And Cannon delivers a called strike one. Tallickson is 0 for 2. With a fly out to right in the first and a 4-3 ground out in the fourth. Lifts that in the air to center field, but right at the center fielder Luke Anderson makes an easy catch and one gone here in the top of the seventh. Let's take a look at both teams' pitching numbers. Brought to you by Big O Tires. We call it on the rubber. Brought to you by Big O Tires, the team you trust. Utah Tech through six innings, giving up seven hits, eight runs, all earned, striking out three, walking nine, three hit batsmen. BYU pitchers through six and now a third. Two hits, two runs, both earned, striking out three, walking three, two hit batsmen. That's on the rubber. Presented by Big O Tires. Call strike on Levi Randall, the nine-hole hitter. Left-handed hitting Levi Randall. The 0-1 to Randall. And that's a lower part of the frame fastball as Candon gets ahead. One ball, no balls, two strikes. So Talek's going to fly out to center. And Randall on an 0 for 2 night. Pair of ground outs in an 0-2 hole. Comes inside. Did it get him? It got him. It clipped his knee. And so Daly hits a guy on an 0-2 count and puts the lead runner aboard here in the 7th. Never want to hit a guy, but on the 0-2. That's one of those shake your head and get back down the hill and look for the double play here. BYU working with a comfortable 8-2 lead. Utah Tech led this game 2-0 after a half inning. Cougs have scored eight in a row. Eight runs on seven hits, and Utah Tech two runs on two hits. We are going to see a pinch runner. Nope. Randall checked something. It was just he had to leave the first base and come back with something. Maybe something equipment-related for Randall. Either way, he jogged off and gets back on first base. So same runner on Randall who gets hit by a pitch and reaches first. Back to the top of the order we go. Kyle McDaniel, third baseman, on a one-for-three night. Double to lead off the game, scored in the first. And grounding out to the pitcher in the second and to first base in the fifth. Pitch gets away from Parker Goff into the backstop, advancing to second as Randall on the play. See if they judge that wild or passed. Either way, a 2-0 count and a runner in scoring position. BYU's used four pitchers, and Utah Tech's used eight tonight. Typical staff night. Low for ball three. A 3 0 count to the leadoff hitter, Kyle McDaniel. Not leading off the inning, mind you, but the top of the order hitter. McDaniel out of the one hole. Kyle hitting 236 on the year and takes a 3 0 pitch for strike one. 93 miles per hour at the bottom of the zone. 3-1 count. One out, one on. The one on is Randall on second, advancing on a wild pitch. Daly on the hill, working third base side of the rubber, kicks and deals, and pipes in two called strikes after a 3-0 opening. That was a fastball at 93, again working low in the zone, is Daly. Six-pitch walk of McDaniel. Fastball missing down and in. And so a leadoff fly out to center by Tallickson. Then Randall hit by a pitch. McDaniel walks. And now first and second for Hunter Katsky. Abe Alvarez will take a mound visit to Daly, who's allowed two of the first three batters he faces to reach, neither with a hit. BYU has not turned a double play tonight. Now would be a splendid time for one. Cannon Daly, three-pitch mixer at uh, fastball, topping out around 95. 
slider and change both in the low to mid 80s. It is BYU 8 and Utah Tech 2 as the Cougs look to end the seven game home losing streak and extend Utah Tech's road losing streak to six games. Also look to stay perfect. They'd go 11-0 with the Cougars. 11-0 all time against Utah Tech, including Dixie State years. So 11-0 all time. They're looking to go 4-0 here at home in Utah Tech's Division I era. The 1-0 count to Hunter Katsky. Opposite field out of play the other way. 1-1 one one the count. It was a 94-mile-per-hour offering from Dally that... Katschke fouls away. Katschke tonight 0 for 3. A strikeout and a pair of ground outs. Grounding up to second and first in his last two plate appearances. Fouled out of play. 1 and 2 to Katschke. No check that. They've pinch hit for Katschke with Caden Clark. Pardon me. So it's Caden Clark in the 1 and 2 hole. Caden Clark for Katschke here in the seventh. 8-2 BYU. One aboard, one gone. That's in tight. Two and two the count. So Caden Clark batting here in the seventh inning. Clark playing in his 12th game, hitting just 133 on the year. That number bumps to 500 with runners on. Check swing. Brings it back. They'll appeal it first and say no dice. It'll be three and two the count. One out, one on. Make it two on, pardon me. Randall on second and McDaniel on first. The full count from Daly. And a punch out. Backward K, two gone. Fastball, paint job on the outside edge. 95 from Daly for the second out. And Caden Clark... On a backward K, trudges back to the Utah Tech dugout, bringing up Hank Dodson. If that is Dodson, and it is. So stay in the order here with Dodson. Utah Tech on the year is 2-20 and 20 when allowing six runs or more. They've allowed eight. BYU 11-2 and two when scoring six or more, and the Cougars are at the 8-2 lead. Top seven, almost ready to stretch here at Miller Park. That's a 94-mile-per-hour heater on this bordering on cool night lower part of the frame for Daly opens up 0-1 to Hank Dodson 0-2 fastball inside edge so Daly working the black here for the last couple of hitters gets a backward K of of Clark and now is ahead 0-2 on Dodson Dodson is 1 for 2 tonight the walk a fly out and double and rips that on the ground, foul down the third base line. Dodson walked and scored in the first. He scored the second of two runs, the only two the Utah Tech has scored tonight. Then flew out to center in the third, grounded and was stranded in the fifth. BYU eight, Utah Tech two. Cougs eight runs on seven hits. Prayer Blazers two runs on only two hits. The 0-2 with two gone, two on. That chase pitch away. Not offered at one ball and two strikes. In the Cougars' last game on Saturday against Baylor, BYU gave up a season high 21 hits. They've allowed only two on this night. We're in the top of the seventh. And again, high, two and two to Hank Dodson. Dodson has 12 multi hit games on the year. Second hit tonight would give him 13 such games. He's the hits leader for the Trailblazers. One for four this year against BYU. Another backward K. Beautiful pitch. A paint job on the lower outside edge. Back-to-back caught looking for the Trailblazers. And for Utah Tech in the seventh. No runs, no hits. There were no errors. And two left aboard. We're into the seventh inning stretch. BYU 8 and Utah Tech 2 our score on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. For more Cougar baseball, let's rejoin Greg Rubel. Bottom seven. We've just had the seventh inning stretch here at Miller Park. BYU looking to stretch its lead, which is already six runs. Eight to two. BYU eight straight for the Cougs after Utah Tech opened up top two. Nothing tonight. Crew Robinson leads off the BYU seventh out of the nine hole. Crews one for two with a run scored and an RBI. 
Take strike one from new pitcher Kai Decker. Ninth pitcher used by Utah Tech tonight. Count goes to one and one. Kai Decker making his 11th appearance. But his first out of the pen. His previous 10 were all starts. Decker, an 8.92 ERA, a 1 and 5 record. 37 and a third innings pitched. 54 hits. The most allowed by any Utah Tech pitcher. 40 runs, 37 earned. 23 to 16 strikeout to walk ratio. 1 and 2 and a backward K as Crew Robinson's down on strikes. That was a fastball at 91 away. Paint job on the outside edge. So one gone for BYU here in the seventh. Kai Decker allowing batters to hit 338 against him. And has given up a ton of extra base hits. 20 extra base hits on the year. And 11 doubles, 2 triples, and 7 home runs. Second most home runs allowed by Utah Tech pitchers. Goes inside on Luke Anderson. With one gone here in the bottom of the seventh. Luke with a walk and a run scored in the sixth. Looking for his first hit of the evening. He is 0 for 3 with a run and an RBI. Hit streak is four games in holding at the moment. The 1-2 goes to 2-0. and Fastball away. Cougars hold on here tonight. They'll end a seven-game home losing streak and win for the first time in exactly one month here at Miller Park. 2-0. 3-0. Fastball in tight. Down below the knees. Anderson and Scow. The one two hitters in the order. After Robinson struck out to begin the inning, that's a take by Luke on a 3 0 for 3 and 1. BYU's walks leader walking in the sixth and scoring in the sixth. The 3 1 fouls out of play the other way. For the right-handed hitting Anderson, count goes full. Jones, beg your pardon, Anderson, picking up his 20th walk of the season to lead the Cougars in that sixth inning and scored his 22nd run of the year and again fouled out, away out of play. 22 runs, second to Cooper Veston runs scored on this team. Luke batting leadoff as he traditionally does. Three for seven now against Utah Tech on the year, including his 0 for 3 tonight. A 3-2 with one gone, no one on. And lifts it in the air to center field. I don't think he saw it. Did Rodriguez off the barrel? No, he lost it and finds it late. <laughs> oh, wow. He's got the hands up. Didn't catch it off the barrel, but found it in time. And uh, the left fielder and right fielder were sprinting as hard as they could toward Rodriguez to help him out. But he makes the catch eventually and two gone. That's a helpless feeling when you just, uh, you know it's your ball, but you can't quite locate it. But he did in time to make a nice catch, and two gone. Riker Scow now batting, right-handed batter Scow. Cougs have not pinch hit yet. Pair of Blazers have pinch hit one batter, 91 mile per hour strike on the down inside corner, 0-1-1, two Scow, two gone, no one on. Grounder to short. Soto comes up with it, fires over to Studi for the 6-3. Quick inning for Utah Tech defensively. 1-2-3, go the Cougars in the seventh. We're through seven complete. No runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on for BYU. 8-2 Cougars, top eight next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Cougars baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Time for another PZ Printing pitching change brought to you by PZ Printing. Nothing inspires like print. Luke Sterner is BYU's fifth pitcher used on the night. Luke making his eighth appearance of the year. Three of the previous seven coming as a starter. 10.80 ERA, 11 and two-thirds innings pitched, 11 hits allowed. 14 runs all earned, striking out 10, walking 12. So a sub-one strikeout to walk ratio. Batter sitting 262 against Luke Gubler. Porter, Clausen, and Daly so far for BYU. Three-pitch mix from Luke. Fastball curve and change. Fastball topping out around 92. Curve in the low to mid-70s and a change in the high 70s to low 80s. That's the PZ printing pitching change. During this eighth inning, we'll take a look at the Big 12 scoreboard tonight presented by Explore Utah Valley. 
Love BYU sports, but miss being near the action. Fly PVU for game day fun only six miles from campus. Downtown hotels and restaurants nearby. Find your happy here. Learn more at utahvalley.com. Brennan Studi is the batter for Utah Tech to lead off the Trailblazers' eighth. Barrels that to left. Scow back in on the track and makes the catch. Oh, no, he dropped it on the warning track. Appeared to have that in the glove, and it pops out, and he is smacking the leather as if, how did I lose that? Riker Scow, so reliable out there in left field. That's his first error of the year. So Riker Scow backpedaling on the track. He had some room to cover to get back there, but just off the glove and having to hold it first is Studi. So even, though, even though that was backpedaling to the track, it was right in the glove, so you got to think that'll be an E7 and a pinch runner in for the Trailblazers, leading off the eighth. Try to get that ID for you as Chase Rodriguez will bat with no one out and now one on here in the eighth. Pinch runner is number 30, Ethan Royal. So Ethan Royal at first base on the E7. First of the year for Riker on the warning track in left field. A check swing strike on Chase Rodriguez. Oh, one. Ethan Royal now at first. Oh, one to Rodriguez. Looks at ball one low. Said we would explore the Big 12 scoreboard brought to you by Explore Utah Valley. We'll start checking some scores on a busy night in non conference play around the Big 12. 1 1 the count, meantime, to Rodriguez and an 8 2 BYU lead here. Working third base side of the rubber is Sterner and delivers slow ball two. Cincinnati defeating Eastern Kentucky in Cincy 12 2 tonight. UCF in an in state battle 10 3 final over North Florida. K State went to UConn and lost in stores 4 0. A swing and a miss by Rodriguez. Count goes to 2 and 2, so UConn defeats K State 4 zip. West Virginia home to Pittsburgh, 6-3. The final, West Virginia wins it in front of a record 4,614 in Morgantown. A 2-2 to Rodriguez. Royal takes his lead at first. And a 60-footer is 3-2 to Rodriguez. Dallas Baptist, number 19 in the country, goes to Stillwater and defeats number 15, Oklahoma State, 8-7. DBU with the win on the road. Baylor wins in Arlington, 3-1. As the Bears stay hot after sweeping BYU on the weekend. The 3-2 to Rodriguez. High in the air to right. Right fielder Vest over toward the gap and makes the catch on the track. And backtracking will be Royal to first base. One gone here at the top of the eighth. Nice catch on a ball that drifted toward that power alley in right. And Cooper Vest on the run. Makes a nice catch on the warning track. So back-to-back warning track shots from the Trailblazers. One dropped and one caught. So one gone for Petey Soto Jr. Petey tonight is 0 for 2 with a sack fly RBI. That came in the first inning. Brought home the second of two runs. It was 2-0 Utah Tech after a half inning, and BYU scored the last eight. One ball, no strikes. Meantime to Soto. Royal is on first. One out, one on. Fastball piped in at 90, lower part of the frame for a 1-1 count. Back to the scoreboard we go. TCU losing at Abilene Christian 8-3 tonight. Houston defeating Houston Christian at UH 10-0. Base hit up the middle by Soto. And first and second now with one gone. So Soto's got his first base hit of the night. And that ends a rut of one for his last 17 at the plate. Holding at second is Ethan Royal. So Royal on second, Soto on first. Blake Borgonio will now bat. Seventh in the batting order, second baseman Borgonio. Ball one high. Last couple of scores to check. Utah, Rio Grande, uh, Utah. 
UT Rio Grande Valley. University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley, UT RGV. A 15-7 lead at Texas tonight. Wow. The Longhorns are really hit and miss this year. A 15-7 lead in Austin for UT RGV. Texas Tech, bottom seven, leading at number two, Arkansas. 8-7. And in that game, Kuhiwa Loy's brother, Behiba, is one for three with a run scored in an RBI. He's hitting 280 on the year for the Razorbacks, the number two team in the country. 2-1 meantime, the count here to Blake Borgonio. Goes to three and one. Checking the softball score behind us at Gale Miller Field. BYU 10, Idaho State 4, bottom six. Here at baseball, it's 8-2, to two, BYU. First and second, one out for the Trailblazers here in the top of the eighth. And a five-pitch walk issued to Borgonio. So the bases are now loaded for Connor Tallickson. Studi goes to third. Soto to second. Borgonio takes his free pass. As Luke Sterner is dealing with base path traffic, BYU can still get out of this and no damage done with a double play. And they don't have one yet tonight. So why not now? It's... Utah Tech down to his last five outs, trailing by six, eight to two. Connor Tallickson, homerless. The junior from Irvine Valley College. No collegiate home runs yet at the Division I level. The 1 0 goes to 2 0. And Sterner's having a tough time finding the zone. This will necessitate an infielder conference. Ruder and Goff, a couple of catchers by trade, will chat with Sterner, who's behind 2-0 and to Connor Tallickson. So a lot going on around the Big 12, as we just covered. Everyone back into league play on the weekend. Thursday to Saturday series for BYU, Friday to Sunday for everyone else. And the Cougs will have to make a move here in the final four series of the year to get to Arlington. They're in the bottom three right now, and only the top ten make the conference tournament. BYU's in 12th right now, a game ahead of 13th place Houston, a game behind 11th place TCU. And there's a fastball at the knees for 2-1, and one, the count to Connor Tallickson. So UCF might be a team you target, maybe Cincinnati, but BYU will not play UCF. They do get Cincy at home, and that'll be a massive series if the Cougs have any hope to get to Arlington this year. Grounder to short. Watkins to Robinson for one, over to Reuter for two, and there's the first double play of the night to get BYU out of the eighth. So for Utah Tech, no runs on a hit. There was an error, and one left on. We go to the bottom of the eighth, 8-2 BYU. Cougs out of the out of the, out of the top of the eighth on a 6-4-3 DP on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel new pitcher for Utah Tech, the 10th pitcher of the night. Number 28, Jonah Marshall, an 18.9 ERA and 0-1 record. Six appearances, six and two-thirds innings pitch. Has given up 18 hits in those six innings. 14 runs all earned facing Easton Jones. Easton Jones, grounder to second. Borgonio coming up with it and over to Studi. Uh, they've made some defensive changes, pardon me, as Rodriguez has gone from center field to first base. Either way, a ground out. Borgonio stays at second. So Jones grounds out. Ruder now bats and takes strike one. So 4-3 ground out for Jones. Ruder now batting, and he's one for three on the night with a pair of RBI and a base on balls. Fouls it back to the screen 0-2 on Ruder. Soto remains at short. McDaniel remains at third. So McDaniel, Soto, Borgonio, and now Rodriguez. The infield as Ruder swings and misses. Three-pitch strikeout for Marshall. And two quickly gone for BYU in the bottom of the eighth. It's an 8-2 BYU lead. Cooper Vest now bats on a hitless night. He's 0 for 2 with a pair of ground outs, a base on balls, and a hit by pitch. He's been stranded on the base pass twice. Has reached in 12 straight games. No hits yet tonight for Coop. 
Coop has been swinging it really well, though. Came into the night at six of his last 14. Seven runs and nine RBI. He had seven RBI, career high seven RBI in the 18 17 loss to Baylor on Saturday. Takes a call, strike one. Kohio Aloy is on deck. The 0 1 from Marshall. Grounder to second, slow roller. A push to Rodriguez, and they get the out. A little awkward on the uh, relay there from uh, Borgonio, but they get the out on a 1-2-3 inning for BYU at the plate. We go top nine. Utah Tech down two. It's final three outs. Eight to two, BYU after a no run, no hit, no error. No one left on base. Eighth for the Cougs here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more Cougar baseball, let's rejoin Greg Rubel. We go top nine here at Miller Park, and time for our Hopefully final. PZ Printing. Pitching change of the night brought to you by PZ Printing. Nothing inspires like print. Hopefully because Stone Cushing is on the mound. Not a safe situation. We're looking for Stone to lock this one down. And end BYU seven game home losing streak. It is BYU eight and Utah Tech two. Top nine. PZ Printing. Nothing inspires like print. The PZ Printing pitching change for BYU. Stone Cushing is BYU's sixth pitcher of the night. Stone 2.87 2.87 ERA. That'll do. 16 appearances all out of the pen. He is second in appearances. Seven saves on the year. One of the top save numbers nationally. He's gone 15 and two-thirds, giving up five hits is all. Six runs, five earned. A 2.5 to one strikeout to walk ratio at 25 and 10. Batter sitting only 102 against Stone. And the first pitch he delivers is a fastball down around the knees for strike one, two. Levi Randall, the nine-hole hitter. For Utah Tech. Randall tonight is 0 for 2 with a hit by pitch. He's grounded out twice. Hitting 350 on the year. 400 leadoff. Leads off the ninth. The 0 1. Down and in ball two. Slider missing inside. No home runs for BYU tonight. The rare homerless game. They have won only one game this season without a home run in the game. They're 1 and 7 with zero dingers. They're likely not going to get a chance to hit a home run. As they lead 8-2, top 9. Meantime, the count goes 2-1 and one to Randall. It's only 8 games without a home run all year for BYU. This is BYU's 33rd game of the year. Slow roller to first. Good scoop by Reuter. And to the cover and Cushing at first to get the out on the 3-1. Good job by Colin Reuter getting his first start at first base this season. He makes a play on the slow rolling grounder. Cushing on the cover. Gets it over the stone, step on the bag, and just by a quarter step out, number one. Randall grounding out for the third time tonight. Well handled by both first baseman and pitcher there. Kyle McDaniel, top of the order with Utah Tech down to its final two outs. And they're about to go down for the sixth straight time on the road and lose eight of nine. They can't have a massive comeback here with only two outs left. 1-0 the count from Cushing to McDaniel. Called strike. Fastball at 92 above the kneecaps. 1-1 the count. The 1-1 away ball two. Three and one. Just missed inside a five pitch walk of McDaniel. So one out and one aboard now for Tex uh, for Utah Tech here in the top of the ninth. How about this? BYU's played only one game all year in which neither team has hit a home run. This will be only the second if Utah Tech can't go yard here in the ninth. Hunter Katschke is, I beg your pardon, Caden Clark, who pinch hit for Hunter Katschke in the seventh. Bats now in the ninth. Having struck out looking in the seventh. Outside of the zone. 
for strike one after an 0-1 delivery. So one and one the count, one out, one on. We're top nine, BYU eight, Utah Tech two. Ca uh, Clark in the box, the right-handed hitter against the right-handed throwing. Stone Cushing's Cushing. A slider inside for call strike two. One and two to Clark. Caden Clark hitting a buck 25 on the year. Not a ton of bad bats for Clark. Just 16 on the year. Coming into this at bat. Two and two meantime from Cushing. So Cushing to catch key with one gone and one on here, top nine. Hank Dodson on deck for the Trailblazers. BYU looking for the sweep of Utah Tech and a backward K. Took the barrel off the shoulder, held back, but it's a called strike on the outside edge for Stone Cushing. And two gone. So the last gasp for the moment for Utah Tech in the form of Hank Dodson. The right-handed hitting DH. Walked and scored in the first. Flew out to right in the third. A double stranded in the fifth. And a backward K in the seventh. He bats now in the ninth with two out and one on and BYU leading it big 8 to 2. BYU looking to go to 12 and 2 without hitting the opposition this year. As the Cougs about hit Utah Tech 7 to 3. It's a three hitter right now. Utah Tech meantime will fall to 2 and 21 when being out hit. But now something truly unforeseen here in the ninth. They're changing balls 0 1 to Hank Dodson. Utah Tech has scored five or fewer runs in eight of its last nine games. Last game with double-digit runs came weeks ago against UTRGV. UTRGV, by the way, winning in Austin tonight, leading in Austin. That's well barreled into the left field corner. Scal will handle on the run. Holding at third will be McDaniel, and it's second and third. A two-out double for Hank Dodson. T-Bird staying alive. Our Trailblazers staying alive here in the top of the ninth. Beg your forgiveness on the Trailblazer T-Bird slip I've made a couple of times tonight. My Southern Utah nicknames get jumbled in this 56-year-old brain sometimes. Eight two BYU lead over the Trailblazers of Utah Tech. And a one-strike delivery by Stone Cushing. Stone a four-pitch mix as he goes ball one away. Fastball slider change and sinker. Strike one with the slider and missing with the second. One and one. Batters the pinch hitter Jack Walker. As the count goes to one and two on a fastball at 92 on the inside edge. So Jack Walker pinch hitting here. Top nine, one and two from Stone. Cushing, staggered stance. Kick and fire, and Stone, cold. That'll do it for Utah Tech here in the night. The swinging strikeout of Jack Walker. And the Cougs have ended their seven-game home losing streak with an 8-2 win over Utah Tech. The Cougs get the sweep of the Trailblazers. And our postgame coverage from Miller Park will begin after this break. For Utah Tech in the ninth inning. No runs on a hit. There were no errors and two left aboard. 8-2 your final. BYU's a winner on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.